welcome to session four. What, uh, what an incredible journey we've all had, huh? Who's feeling different? Who's feeling di different to what they did on Monday before we started? And give me a big, big hello because I want to see who's here. Hi, Angie. Oh, my God. Angie is one of the most beautiful, incredible women in our Your Two Minds. Everyone in the Your Two Minds family is incredible. Wouldn't you agree, Natalia? We attract the best people. Um, but hi, Angie. How great to see you here. Hi, Tristan. Tristan, my gosh, how do you know to call me Susie? You know, when I was little, I changed my name from Susanna to Susie. And now only my close friends call me Susie. So there you go. I think you've got some really great intuition there. So someone said, Facebook user, I missed yesterday. I'm glad I made it today. If you want to click the link above, I'd be able to see your name. Um, I'm glad you're with us today. Make sure you watch the recording from yesterday. Does everyone agree yesterday was a powerful session? And thank you to all of you who have shared your self-image script with me. I haven't had the chance to get through all of them, but I will, even if it is during the weekend, I'll, I'll give, put in an extra bit of time for all of you. Hi there, Nat hi there, Wendy. Hello, hello. I was going to say hi there, Natalia. <laughs> I've already said hello to Natalia, but hello again, Natalia. Hi, Wendy. Hello, Ian. Another great day to look forward to, Susanna. Thank you. And it's all the better that we have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, beautiful Susanna. Hello, Facebook user. How are you? Tell me who you are. Click on the link. Um, I'd love to see your name. I'd love to know who I'm talking to. So who here feels different to what you did on Monday? Who has found the past four days to be really, really impactful? What has changed? Hi, Nikki. Great to see you. Hello, Effie. Hello, hello. Look at all these beautiful people. Yes, it's been a powerful four days. Yeah. I know Natalia feels different. She's grown so much just in the past week. How are you all feeling? How are you all feeling? I feel lighter in my heart. That's beautiful. I feel lighter in my heart. Much improved self-image. I have a busy schedule. I see with live sessions today. You see, I said to most of you, didn't I, some of the, the feedback that we get, the most common feedback that we receive about this masterclass is, boy, oh, boy, I really didn't know. I really didn't think that this much could change in just seven days. And I can feel the change. I can feel the shift in many of you. And I've spoken to many of you and we'll speak to some of you this afternoon too, which I'm really looking forward to. Now, if you haven't booked your one-on-one -on -one session with your success advisor, please do so because they're only going to be available until next Tuesday. After that, we need to fully focus on our paid clients. That's what we're about, serving them. So um, I think we've given over and above value for to you all in this so if you want to take advantage of your one-on-one -on -one session please do so before the masterclass is over and these recordings will be available in the millionaire roundtable for you all um, for the duration of the masterclass so what's next what's next so you have felt different in the past seven days what it would it be like if you had this for one whole year where would you be in a year's time? In fact, what is it that you really want? What is it that you really, really, really want? And I know we've spent a little bit of time refining that this week. And you might want to go deeper with that and that's okay. And I know we've looked into and we've, we've, We've opened up to some concepts about yourself that you may not have heard anywhere before or they may not have sunk as deeply as they have for you during the past few days. And then we went into self-image. But let me ask you a question. On that scale 
from zero to 10, where zero means that this, this thing that you want, your success, means nothing. You're just here to feel good and, 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 and listen to some information. You're not, you have no intention to change your life, to, to tap into more of your potential. And 10 means that it is the most important thing to you alongside your family. Where are you on that scale now? Where are you on that scale from zero to 10 now? Show me in the comments. I would love to see. Where are you on your from the scale from zero to 10 now? How serious are you about your future? Tristan's a definite 10. What about Mahi? Mahi, can you give me a number for my beautiful full friend Mahi? Where are you on the scale, Mahi? Natalia is a 10. Natalia was a, an 11 when I met her about, what, was it about eight months ago? Amanda, who is also another client and a member of the Your Two Minds community, is an absolute 10. And I cannot wait to come to Toronto, Amanda, and have a coffee on that beautiful wall, the cafe on the wall. Angie is off the charts. Angie is so dedicated to herself to this work it's absolutely incredible and Effie I definitely knew Effie was a 10. You see the reason I ask Charu says she's an 100 that's the way girl that's the way. You see the reason I ask that question is this session probably won't be the most comfortable session. My he is a 10 I'm so glad to hear that my beautiful friend my he Woohoo, Amanda says. Woohoo, I cannot wait. You know, I think about that so often. That's one of the things that is that I'm really looking forward to to going back to Toronto. But you know, I said yesterday that this session probably won't be the most comfortable session for you. And if you're not ready to get uncomfortable, how do you expect to change? You see, Albert Einstein said that the same thinking is only going to get you where you've always been. The same way that you've always been is only going to get you to the same place. And he said, expecting change when with the same mentality, with the same thinking is actually insanity. You will not have change. Facebook user says 10 for me. Now, let me ask you a question, and you can answer this in the comments or you can just answer it yourself, okay? You don't have to share this. If you feel like sharing, you can. But I want you, every single one of you, to be completely honest with yourself, okay? Even though it's uncomfortable, completely honest with yourself even though you cringe, okay? Are you really a 10? Are you really a 10? You see, many people sign up for free classes, do this, do that. They say that they're a 10. And what's going to happen, I'm going to give you two bonus sessions actually next Monday and Tuesday. We're doing dream boards on Monday and I'll figure out what we're going to do on Tuesday. How's that? <laughs> what happens is after those sessions, this has been absolutely incredible being here with all of you. Every single one of you have brought something very, very special to the whole. And I can't explain it. There's no words. But the vibration, the com commitment, the energy, the, the integrity and genuineness that you have all brought to this has just been beyond inspirational. But what's going to happen is next week you're all going back to your own lives. You're all going back to your own lives. And what, what, that's, what that means is the same old problems, the same old paradigms, because paradigms are not going to change just because you attended a free masterclass. And the same way of being. Now, there's two types of people. 
there's the people that say, yes, I'm a 10, and they go off and nothing happens. When, you know, you follow up with them, three months down the track, six months down the track, six years down the track, it's the same old, same old, same old, same old, old. And if you're in that category and it's uncomfortable, that is fantastic because this is an opportunity for you to change for once and for all. And those that are really a 10 are those that have made a decision. They have made a decision to do what it takes. This is it. I'm going to find the money. I'm going to do the work. I'm going to work with Susanna. I'm going to do what it takes to actually finally change those paradigms so that I can have the change in my life and my business that I'm here to experience. Nothing happens by accident. You and I are not here together by accident. However, you have personal choice. And one of the things about our society is that we've never been taught how to make a real decision. Let me ask you a question. What has your decision-making been in the past? In the past, have you said that you're a 10 only to discover three months, four months, three years down the track you weren't a 10? How many times have you said that I'm going to do this and nothing changes? As soon as it gets uncomfortable, as soon as there's a little bit of failure, as soon as there is a challenge, you stop. You know, I was with one of my dearest friends this morning, Peggy McCall, and I know some of you showed up when I was interviewing her about her new book. And Peggy and I have been friends for about five years, very close friends. We almost share the same birthdays. And I've spent some time with her in Canada, etc. And what we spoke about this morning was an absolute tormenting experience that Peggy has been through in the past six, seven months with an illness. Absolutely horrific. It was, there's no other word to describe it than how. And at the same time, both of our dear friends, Bob Proctor, left the planet. He has transitioned. You are not here at a time where I was with my dear friend Peggy talking about life and, and what's important by coincidence. This has not happened in a masterclass before that I've run, that we had that depth of, well, what's the point of it all? You see, the point is that you're not going to be here forever. The point is that there's going to be a last day, a final breath for every single one of you. My dear friend, Bob, this site, Bob Proctor, we thought he was going to be around forever. But even Bob, had a last breath. And the beauty of that last breath was that every breath in that man for the past 60 years was online with his purpose breaking through his paradigms. What is your purpose? Why are you here? And are you taking your life seriously enough to say, 
I am a 10. And this time I am really a 10. I am going to do what it takes to change those paradigms, to change myself, to tap into that infinite potential that I have been gifted with. So that when I take my last breath, I will look back and say, wow, what a life. You see, this is not a comfortable conversation. I know. But if you don't stop lying to yourself that I'm going to attend this free masterclass, that free masterclass, because I'm going to change and then you don't. There's nothing wrong with attending a free masterclass. Absolutely not. But the question is, what are you going to do with it? And in my experience of working with many, many, many people, of being that man, that man, I keep getting it, it's, I can see on the screen, but it's on the other side, that man's top, one of top, one of his top consultants, top in Australia, What I know is and what I've seen, people that don't put money and time where their mouth is don't get the results. Something happens in the subconscious. Something happens in the energy when people say, that's it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to find the money. I'm going to put time in every single day because my life is so important because without me the whole universe would be out of alignment and I want to tap into every bit of that potential that I can so that I can have what I deserve and so that everybody that that I I meet their life is touched by my purpose whatever your purpose is in fact, I remember Bob Proctor saying that if you don't put money into your own life, into the best investment that you can ever make, and that's your own personal growth, you do not deserve to win. And I'll tell you a story. I was similar to all of you. I was not a great decision maker. I'm going to share something very personal with all of you now. I feel like I can trust you all. We've developed a, a friendship, a partnership here, right? So I shared with you as a child, I always knew my purpose. And that was to do what I'm doing today on an international level. I knew that. I knew that from very young. I could see people's barriers just by connecting with them energetically. And I could see how they could break through. I could see their potential also. Didn't know I was going to be doing it the way that I am, but I knew that I was going to be doing it. So therefore, I chose to study psychology, counselling, got you know, started work, um, got into senior management at a very, very young age. I think I was 26 when I became an executive director of a small um, a small organisation that worked with, with refugees. And I thought that was the thing that was going to get me to it. But shortly into my career, maybe my late 20s, early 30s, it just wasn't it. I knew that I had to step out and do it on my own. I knew that. And for 10 years, I would drive to work listening to Bob Proctor. 10 years. 
And I knew that one day that the man in the photo behind me and I would be friends and we'll be sharing the stage together. It was such a deep knowing, but I was so afraid to share it with, with someone. But I was like probably most of you are. I would attend this workshop and buy this book and I had every single self-help self book that you can buy. And, yes, my life did change. I kept positions just came to me. I kept working up the ladder in, in, in the last organisation that I was working in, 150 staff, you know, that I, I supervised at one stage, you know, six-figure package but it still wasn't it. I wasn't getting the quantum leap that I really, really wanted. And that thing inside me, you know that thing deep down inside you that I don't even know how to explain it. I just feel it in my in the, my solar plexus. You might also feel it in your solar plexus or your chest or, or somewhere else, but that thing inside you that just knows, call it intuition, call it your spirit. I believe it was my spirit, my soul, it kept getting stronger, saying you have to quit. You have to quit and jump. Make a jump. Start your business. But the problem was I had a beautiful salary working for a great company, great boss, great staff, good cause, and I was 500 thousand dollars in debt not five thousand not fifty thousand five hundred thousand i was half a million dollars in debt now it was good debt in two mortgages that i had on my own no one else helping me it was just my own my own dream my own purchase i was independent for a very long time and even though I knew my dream as a child and my purpose, it took me until I was my early 40s to say enough is enough. I have to quit. I have to pursue my dream. I have a purpose to help thousands of others break through. I knew that was my purpose. And when I had $500,000 in debt, I jumped. 31st of January 2017 was my very last day in my senior management role working full time. I did not know what I was going to do. I've never been in business before. I didn't know how to work it out. And if I told you right now it was easy, I would be lying to you. And then the opportunity to actually work with the very best, to get the help that I needed, cost $30,000. So here I was, $500,000 in debt, no job, no support from anyone in terms of financially, no government support. I chose not to do that, not that it's wrong, but I, that energy was wrong for me. Never been in business before, didn't know how to work it out, and all of a sudden, that intuition, that part of me inside me said, you need to do this. You need to invest in yourself. And I remember the words of my dear mentor, Bob Proctor, because I was listening to him and I think I attended a seminar, weekend seminar on, on live stream and he was saying, winners make 
decisions quickly and change them slowly. Losers make decisions slowly and change them quickly. And when I heard that, I'm like, ooh, I'm $500,000 in debt. I don't have a job. My whole working career, 30 years, there was not a time apart from a short stint when I came back from Japan in my early 30s that I was ever out of work. I always had work. I always relied on a job to give me money. And here... He says, winners make decisions quickly and change them slowly. And I knew that I had to win. Even though I had no idea how I was going to survive. So I jumped. At a time where I had no money, I invested in myself. And I think back now to that decision where I was hanging on a shoestring. It was even even finer than this. Shoestring decision where I could have easily said, I can't do it now. I don't have any money. I'm $500,000 in debt. Let me wait. Wait until it's safe. Would have been easily, or let me go back to work. And I think back now, what if? I'm getting chills right now, just even saying that. What if? What if, Susanna, you did go back to work? What if you did make that decision not to invest in yourself even though you knew this was the next step for you. You see, that whole year was a difficult year for me, difficult. It was, it felt like everything was falling apart. It felt like the foundation beneath my feet was ripped apart. I was waking up every morning at four o'clock in sheer anxiety. How am I going to survive? What am I going to do? Because my paradigms were programmed to, to, to focus on someone else paying me for the work that I do, even though I was miserable. What if I quit? What if I went back to work then? And the thing was, I did not have a Susanna to help me. I had no one to help me. You've got someone to help you now. It's just a matter of are you a 10 or a 10. There's a big difference between a real 10 and, yeah, I'm a 10 for today, but tomorrow, you know, if it gets hard, I'm going to give up. I was a real 10. And I tell you now, Boy, oh boy, oh boy, is my life different to what it was six, seven, eight years ago. You cannot compare. I not only worked with the incredible Bob Proctor, that dream of mine for 10 years became a reality to the point where I could just send Bob an email and within minutes if he was awake, he'd reply. I have shared stages with Bob Proctor. Now, this is not meant to be about me. This is about you. But I share my experience with you because no matter, no matter what circumstance or what situation you find yourself in right now, it can change just like that, just like that. You see, I would remember when I was at work, my dream was to replace my annual salary in a monthly salary. 
When you understand your own self, And when you understand and work with someone that knows how to help you go deeper in your understanding of the truth of who you are and break through your paradigms, finally, something happens. The universe rewards you in ways that you don't even expect. And that goal of mine to replace my senior management salary in a month sometimes has happened in a in a week more than that in a week and i didn't even expect that i can't wait to go back to my ceo who was saying are you mad you can have anything with us and say well aren't you glad i trusted myself this time my relationships have improved i'm living my dream my purpose and life just keeps getting better and better and better i have the dream team natalia joe my god i have the dream clients angie amanda you've met some of them here my god we're not a community we're a family So the question for you is, and this will be your biggest lesson out of this whole program. Every lesson leads to the next and the next and the next. And every single lesson is so important. But, but, if you haven't made a decision a real decision, if you're not a real nine or a ten. All of the lessons that you've learnt up until now are just going to become information that you've accumulated. There's a real difference, and, and Peggy and I were talking about this this morning, there's a real difference between people that say, I'm going to, and I can work this out on my own. <laughs> and those that say, this is done. I'm going to do it and I'm doing it now. And there's a real difference in people that actually tap into their true potential and jump out of that plane. Who here has been skydiving? Who here has been skydiving? You see, anyone that has been skydiving will know the experience. When you book, you're like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm doing this. A week before, you start to feel the fear. And every day the fear gets stronger and stronger. And then the day that you don't even sleep the day before because you're like, shit, I'm going to do, what am I doing? I'm going to jump out of a plane. And when you get on that plane, I've never, ever experienced a fear so strong. And I'm so glad I did it tandem and it was like going higher and higher and when they open that door, you're like far out. I think I'm just going to sit in the plane. That's what you really want to do. That's what your paradigm wants you to do. But you know if you don't jump, you'll never experience it. And when you're on that edge of that plane, it's like, oh, my God, what am I doing? The fear is so strong and you just want to, you wish that you were stuck. Someone could just, you feel like you're stuck until you just close your eyes and jump. And when you jump, there's no turning back. That's a real decision. There was no turning back for me to go back to my full-time six-figure paying job. And then it's really scary and you feel almost sick, but then the exhilaration kicks in and the excitement and the experience is like nothing you've ever experienced before you 
You see, we're talking about our dear friend Bob this morning. And he said that most people are alive, but they are so afraid of living, they want to get to death safely. There are no guarantees in life. We all know that. But with the information that you have learnt about yourself, that inside you there is more potential than what you can imagine. You have inside you more potential than what you can use in this one lifetime. But are you going to go through life in fear of what's going to happen? You want to get to death safely? Or are you going to jump? Are you going to say yes to you? To your life and say, for once and for all, I'm going to be a 10. It took me over 40 years to start something that I knew was mine when I was born, when I was a child. I don't want any of you to delay your purpose, to delay your good. The universe meets you halfway when you're brave, when you have the audacity to jump and not go back. You see, one thing I learned, I used to love the book, The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. Some of you may know that book. And when I was in my 20s and early 30s, I would read it at least once a year. It used to inspire me. And I would be dreaming of doing what I'm doing now with all of you. And in that book, the famous quote, what's the famous quote? The famous quote is, the universe conspires to help to help the person with a dream. But I learned that that was not quite true. A part of it was true, but it wasn't quite true. I believed that for years and for years I was dreaming and I was dreaming about doing what I'm doing now and, and you know, and doing my purpose in life and having my own business. But the, the universe only conspired to the extent of my courage. What I learned was the universe actually conspires to help the person that has a dream and the courage to say, F this, man, I'm doing what it takes. I'm going to jump off that plane and this is going to happen. And you know what? This is my life and I'm going to have an adventure of a lifetime. I am tired of playing small. And the moment that that happens and you move into action, that is when the universe conspires to help you. And you know that goal that you wanted to replace your, your monthly income with your former annual income? Well, then it says, well, good, you know, you can have that, but here I'll give it to you in a week with ease and flow. And you're left in awe of yourself. You're like, wow, did this just happen? Even to this day, I have to pinch myself when I think back in the past five years with everything that has happened. You are all here today because one crazy woman in Melbourne decided to quit her job and say enough is enough. I'm going to go out there and help people. That is my purpose. What if she didn't? And if one person can do that, you can do that and so much more, so much more. So my question to you is are you a 10 Or are you a 10? Are you a 10? I've made a decision and I'm going to do what it takes. Or are you a 10? I expect to, I expect this to work, but only if it's comfortable. Only if I have money. 
one thing I've learned about money, folks, is that if you're waiting to do something until when you have it, you'll never, ever have money, ever. I've invested hundreds and, hundreds and thousands of dollars in myself and the universe pays you back a hundred times more. But it's all up to you. Everything is within you. Nothing is outside of you. Nothing is outside of you. And if you think you can do this on your own, think again. What did Einstein say? So I'm going to open up an offer to you all. On uh, one of the pages at the end of your, your sessions, you have a special offer, but I'm feeling extra gen generous today. So if you jump on board with my six-month coaching program, you get an additional six months absolutely free. But also I'm going to add in there, you're going to get um, also my money manifestation um, workbook and, and a free workshop around that. So if you want to learn about money, you need to be working with someone that knows what they're talking about, that has the results that you want. I have the results. I have over 30 years experience and Bob Proctor himself said that Susanna is one of the top people in the world in this, in this uh, work. Bob himself says never, ever take advice from somebody or pay a coach that says that they're going to give you something but they haven't achieved it themselves. How many coaches are out there saying, yeah, yeah, work with me? What are their credentials? So I give you six months free with me if you jump on board. I'll also give you my book and Peggy's book, Savvy Wisdom 2, when it comes out. But also I was feeling extra, extra, extra generous this morning and anyone that jumps on board and works with me will get three one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. I normally don't do that. But if, only if you jump on board by the end of this week. Next week that part of the offer is not available. So Natalia has put the link in the comments below. I want to finish. If there is one thing that you take from today's session... Just ask yourself, have I really made a decision? Have I really made a decision? Because we're not taught to make decisions at school. We're not taught to make decisions at school. And what happens? We then go outside of ourselves and ask people, what do you think I should do? What do you think I should do? And even though they're well-meaning, if they don't have the results that you want, what advice are they going to give you? What would happen back in 2017 if I asked my boss and him knowing that I was $500,000 in debt or, or my parents or, you know, my partner did know, but, you know, he, I'm very lucky in that extent because he's a businessman himself so he knows you need to jump even when you don't have money. If you don't have money and you don't jump, you will never, ever, ever make money, full stop. That's the law. That's the law in money. Okay, so what if I asked well-meaning people that really cared for me, oh, what do you think I should do? Thank goodness I'm a little bit private and I didn't ask anyone. I was actually ashamed to ask them because I thought they were going to laugh at me. $500,000 in debt and you're going to leave a six-figure paying job? Are you freaking mad? I just knew I had to do it. So if there's only one thing you get from this session today and that is who are you listening to and are you ready to learn how to make decisions you see when you make the decision you will find the money every single time i have included a little bonus at the back there it is one of my favorite articles by bob proctor because if you don't learn how to make decisions by yourself how in the world are you expected to have a great life? And he says, there is a single mental move you can make which in a millisecond will solve enormous problems for you. It has the potential to improve almost any personal or business situation you will ever encounter. And it could literally propel you down the path to incredible success. We have a name for this magic 
mental activity, and it's called decision. What are you going to decide on today? Are you going to decide to tap into your own potential? What have you decided your purpose is going to be? What have you decided about the difference you're going to leave in this world? What have you decided about the relationship you have about yourself, with yourself and, and your self-image, your relationship with your loved ones? What have you decided about your finances? And if you say finances are not important, well, what happens when you're sick or a family member's sick? You are here. You weren't born just to exist. Please, please understand that you were not born just to exist. You were not born to play it safe until you die. You have power inside you. You have beauty inside you. You have gems inside you that you have not even realised. Your greatness is here for you to enjoy. It's not just there to stay dormant. Your greatness is a gift to the world. The greater you become, the more you love your life, the more you love yourself, the more you tap into your infinite beauty, your infinite intelligence, your infinite potential, the more naturally you give to others. So I'm going to give you all a little bit of homework. Is that okay? I want you all to think about your decision-making in the past. I want you all to really think about, even if it's uncomfortable, are you really a 10? And what are you going to do with the incredible time we've had together? Now, our time's not over. We've got tomorrow. I'm going to do a Q&A tomorrow. If you've got your questions, please send them through. Send them through to Natalia. Um, I'm going to have a little surprise. I'm going to try something tomorrow. I'm going to experiment. I don't know if it's going to work, but it'll be a lot of fun. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we have the incredible Joe interviewing some of the Your Two Minds community. You don't want to miss these interviews. Holly Hudspeth on Saturday. Oh, my God. Holly is from Florida and she has severe acquired brain injury. She managed in my program to write two books, write a whole coaching program, start a PhD in quantum physics. This is something that you have to see. If you have any doubt about yourself, please watch the interview with Holly on Saturday. And then we have the Your Two Minds community coming on Sunday. On Monday, I will be back with a bonus session. But I want you to do this bit of work, please. I want you to think about what your decision making has been in the past. And really be, don't be tough on yourself, but be honest with yourself, even though it's uncomfortable, okay? Really do a recap on the past three days. What do I really want? What's my definition of success? Your self-image script. If you haven't sent me your self-image script and you still like would like me to see it, make sure it comes in today, okay? Because we get so busy. Um, you know, what am I going to do with my potential? What's my real purpose? What's the legacy that I want to leave? Please do this part, part of the homework, okay? And... How, how do I want to change? How do I want to be? What am I going to do to, what's the first decision I'm going to make right now? Let's practice those decision-making muscles, okay? And do you decide that you're going to live your most enlightened life right now? Ask yourself that question, okay? Don't lie to yourself enough. We've lied to ourselves enough. Real decisions sometimes are very uncomfortable. I was very uncomfortable when I had no money, no job, $500,000 in debt, and I knew I had to invest in, in getting the support that I needed, okay? I also want you all to start reading the decision-making chapter. Highlight it, underline it, see what stands out for you. I'm going to see if we can have, and, and we'll, uh, the team on the weekend will be talking a little bit about the decision-making chapter, 
okay let's flex those decision making muscles those of you that want to join us that want the additional bonus of three one-on-one sessions with me please join up um, if you want to today the link is in the comment box um, everyone else i will see you tomorrow we're going to have an incredible session tomorrow if you haven't had your one-on-one -on -one session please sign up for your one-on-one -on -one session okay and let's get those decision making muscles working because remember winners make decisions quickly and change them slowly and losers make decisions slowly and change them quickly you were born to win i know every single one of you is a winner thank you so much i look forward to seeing you all tomorrow and um, let's flex those decision making muscles let's make this life the best life ever Thank you. Bye-bye.